is a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma. Welcome to yet another fabulous Minute Microscopy. I'm Eric Rosenblatt, and uh, today I have an important topic to address, social security numbers. So recently here in Washington, the Employment Security Office had a data breach wherein all kinds of personal information from all kinds of people may have been exposed to unauthorized parties. And this got me thinking, why do we still use social security numbers as the linchpin of our state identity? We're told to never give it out, yet we're required to do so on a regular basis to, well, everyone. And if it's compromised, it's not as simple to change as changing your password on a website. We have this fixed number that stays with us for life, which we're supposed to keep a secret except to the unending abundance of organizations who require it to truly verify who we are. Yet, if someone knows that number, along with a few key pieces of readily available information, they can pretend to be you and mess up your life. So with something so crucial, you'd think by now it would have been updated to actually be secure. But government is slow to catch up with the times. <laughs> Very slow. Well, a hundred years ago, having a piece of paper card with a secret number may have been sufficient. In this day and age, that's laughably inadequate. Well, the rest of the civilized world has moved on to hashing, tokenization, two-factor authentication, encryption, and such. One of the most crucial pieces of personal information remains plain text for all the world to see. People are constantly struggling and wasting precious time to recover from damage done by the reliance on an obviously flawed and antiquated system. Pfft, disgusting. I believe that system is long overdue for an update. M maybe we need to do away with social security numbers entirely. A at the very least, the actual number should never be able to be known by the public or even the government. This is so ridiculously simple to do, it's inexcusable that we're required to adhere to a system that only barely made sense when more people rode horses than drove cars. So what, what are your ideas for improving things? I have my own thoughts, but there are more than enough Satoshis out there who could come up with a more clever and truly secure replacement. Though... I doubt anyone in the ivory tower would care to listen. <laughs> <laughs>